Hi everyone, my name is C.K. Lin, the director of Koji, Convergence of Global Innovators, home for those who are passionate about innovations and what innovations can do for solving global issues. The last time we talked about the power of clarity, this time we'll talk about the importance of finding yourself the right mentor. Many of you are lost in your routine, which isn't particularly effective or fun. You love to expand your horizons, but you're not completely sure how. When you find yourself lost in a strange city, what do you do? Many of you, especially guys, are still driving around in circles just hoping to luck out. Swallow your pride and ask for directions. Believe me, there's no better way to get to where you want to go than ask someone who knows the area well. That's what a mentor is, and finding the right one is that critical. Finding a research advisor is like finding a mate. There is no such thing as the perfect mentor, only the perfect mentor for you. But enough with analogies. Here are the six different questions you should ask before you select your mentor. One, ask yourself if you can honestly see yourself working with this person six to seven years from now. Trust me, if you can't stand being around this person, you won't learn very much from him. Most of your energy will be spent dealing with the emotional drains and drama. Two, see how they act with other people. How they act with their assistants and other grad students is how they will act with you in the future. Is this the type of working relationship you want to have with your mentor? Three, what's their value network? The reality is that you are not only learning from your mentor skill-wise, but you're also going to rely on him or her for assistance, career, or otherwise. Four, what are their former grad students doing right now? It's probably a good indication of how well you'll be doing in the future. If they're doing well, chances are this person is for you. And if they're not, this person is not for you. Five, what's his reputation amongst his peers? Again, you're relying on his value network if he's well respected in the industry you're going into, great. If not, be very cautious. Six, and finally, the last question and very important question is do they have funding? Enough funding to sustain you for at least five years. The worst thing, the worst nightmare that can happen to you is that year four, the funding ran out and they have to switch projects or worse yet, research advisor. This kind of nightmare is likely to happen to you if you're not careful. Here's the mentality I want you to have. You are a freelancer. He will be your exclusive client for the next five to seven years. You're lending your brand, youth, and energy in exchange for his partnership. You're helping your mentor to expand his own brand value and his connections. Be very clear that you're there to help him succeed, and in return, he'll help you succeed. About that, keep an open mind. One other thing I forgot to mention, Officially, you have one research advisor, but you're not limited to just have one mentor only. I learn from everyone I interact with. There's always something you can learn from everyone. Stop trying to do this your own way and find someone successful, someone who's been there, done that. Find a mentor before you ran out of gas. This is Dr. C.K. Lin, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.